brothers that's claiming to be Christians, especially in the rap game, or claiming to be men of God, or they want to hold a trophy up. I'd like to thank God for this award, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, I'm coming to see you, man. I got to talk to you right quick, man, because you said God's name, you know what I mean? Like, I got I to gotta come see about that. Like, And if I can't get in touch with you personally, like, I can get in touch with a lot of y'all now, then that's when I make a song, like J50 and Wheezy. First off, I grew up listening to all of y'all. From the black is hot to get rich to blueprint, I bought it all. I paid 20 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Back years ago, 10, 12, maybe 15 years ago, when you would see the prosperity gospel, you would see people, people would look at people because they had a big car, the big house, the big church, mm -hmm. and they would look up to these ministers, man, the big boys. You know, we got them here in the city from T.D. Jakes to, we got uh, Ibach, uh, Ricky Rush, we got all type of big ministers here, Joel Osteen, and all these different ministers. But when you, when you start to think about it, you know, there's a scripture that talks about some people thinking that gain is godliness, but, but, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So you got to look at it from a different mm. eye scope. You can't just look look at it just in a way to where this here may be the best decision to get me here. You got to look at it from that peace that you get from God. And those, the, the, a lot of time that come from having these different situations happen where you're in those maybe irritable situation for the flesh but in the spirit you're winning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, the, yeah. that's the game. Man, bro. That's and that's what we need people to hear. What you said just now is like, it's like I'm a basketball fan, so it's almost like we saying, hey, we've been looking at this scoreboard all game. We looking at that scoreboard right there that's keeping score on who winning. What we trying to get people to do is to start looking at life by looking at a whole different type of scoreboard. You know, that that's godly it. game is a whole different type it's of scoreboard than over here. This this scoreboard is gonna say how many cars you got, you know, what size are your rims, um, what kind of jewelry you got, like like just the same old stuff that we always hear. That's that's what this is, you know what I mean? Designer, what designer brand you wearing, you know what I'm saying? Like that godly scoreboard hit way different. I'll tell you one thing, that scoreboard over there, it's not going to have you with anxiety like this one will, sitting there thinking like, damn, I ain't got enough followers, or damn, I'm looking at everybody on Instagram, and their life's so lit, and okay, that's the new brand, everybody wearing Dior, okay, cool, I got to go get some Dior to get put up points on that scoreboard. This scoreboard, God going to be like, man, you could wear that dingy white t-shirt that's in your closet, you know what I'm saying, that you, that, that you wear three days a week anyway, you could wear that, I ain't tripping. You can fool around. You don't have to ever become a multi-millionaire or even a millionaire on this scoreboard and you still could be good in my book. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be lit on the ground. You ain't got to be verified. You ain't got to pay for your blue check. You ain't got to do none of that over here. You ain't even got to have Instagram and you can still be putting up major numbers on my scoreboard. That's real, man. Thank you so much, man. I, like I said, that cash money move, man, I, I, I always think about different things that you, you like I said, you're very impactful mm. and you're going to, you're going to do a lot of more more things than you've done just yet so far. I mean, talking to Birdman, I talked to Birdman on the phone and he's not the same Birdman. I just talked to him the other day. He's For real? The, yeah, but he's not the same Birdman when he was young, you know. He's a different Birdman as you evolve. Evolved. Everybody evolving, man. Really? So this is the whole game. Like, where are we going to be? How we going How we going to respond to these opportunities we get and in injecting God into these situations, bro? Man, what you talk to Birdman about, man? And mm -hmm. I'm, I, I talk to a lot of people. That's GD. You know GD. Yeah, GD. Is he the spokesman or not? Of course. That's my. Oh, that's my dog. Okay, so if he the he, spokesman, then you know what it is. Like he, he, we working, he, he, he we working, man. Together. Yeah, yeah, we working to that's try my, to make sure dude. that we do the right thing for our culture and for the South. You know, I'm a big South advocate. Mm. So basically, it's a a lot of times that we 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 being pushed information down upon us. We mm. need to be pushing information from bottom to the top, and and from for, for, so we can see it from a clear scope where it can be seen properly. Mm. Because we got some down here, and a lot of times it's diluted. You never hear about the albums and the, the the albums where you can listen to them straight through. We never mentioned in the top five. We got to change that scenario. Yeah, I'm about to put my tenth album out in August. That's hard. Tenth album in my career is called Uno, so that's oh, my yeah? nickname. Yeah, people call me Uno. That's my nickname. But the album. UNO is an acronym for Underdogs and Outcasts. Okay. UNO, Underdogs and Outcasts, because that's what I'm doing this album for, bro. It's for all the underdogs that's out there. That's it. All the people that's like, man, the world's sleeping on me. I'm David, you heard me? Yeah. And I see this big Goliath and everybody's sleeping on me. And all the outcasts, all the people that's like, man, I, I just can't seem to fit in, man. Everybody thinking that 
I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Embrace that. Embrace being different. So Uno coming out August 18th. That's going to be my 10th album, bro. I need to interview Big Crit, so you need to set that up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been wanting to interview this guy, but I don't. He you can't get a hold of him online. I don't have no. Well, look, Kiki, I didn't talk to him yet because of what happened with Big Pokey, but and R.I.P. to Big Pokey. But it's different. I talk to me and Kiki talk a lot, so I'm trying to figure out how to get him. But you talk to him too, so yeah. Make sure you holler at him for me because yeah, I'm definitely trying to rock out with that guy. Word. Yeah, yeah you, I'll be trying to talk to all of them. For real? Yeah, because I'm on your mission. Yeah, you on that same. <laughs> hey, just know Crit, Crit one of us, bro. Oh, yeah. Crit one of us, bro. I'll find out. Like no, that heart. I, I can't Crit, hear you. Can't Crit, hear you. Crit, Crit one of us, bro. Like, he, he is. He, he's he, his, his, his heart all the way in the right place, bro. Um, You know, man, everybody got their own path, bro. Everybody got their own path, and everybody. What? How can you tell a struggling Christian from a hypocrite? <sighs> oh, man. I don't I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's not for us to be able to tell. That's, that's between, that's exactly. between them and God. That's exactly. it. Now we might not be able to tell, but if we observe it, then we should do what we call as Christians to do according to the word of God, Correct. which it. is we shouldn't be afraid to approach those people and try to hold them accountable or, or lead with love in terms of like confronting what they got going on. But it's not our place to judge them, you know, uh, uh, in a negative manner automatically and jump to conclusions but it's also not our job to turn a blind eye to it no that's so true so these brothers that's claiming to be Christians especially in the rap game or claiming to be men of God or they want to hold a trophy up I'd like to thank God for this award you know what I'm saying <laughs> hey man I'm coming see you man I gotta talk to you right quick man cause you said God's name you know what I mean like I gotta, I gotta come see about that like and if I can't get in touch with you personally like I could get in touch with a lot of y'all now then that's when I make a song like J50 and Weezy first off I grew up listening to all of y'all from the black is hot to get rich to blueprint I bought it all I paid but you know it's uh, you know if they don't say giving our glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it's a different world because mm. you never know what God they talking about. What God they talking about? A lot of them think that they God, bro. Did you hear what I just said? I feel you. So you, you might right. walk up on a situation where it's not even. We a assume that it's yeah, the same God. Yeah, may not even be talking about that mm. a lot of times. So I, you just got to look at it from a different scope when you're dealing with it. You got to be led of the Spirit to talk to these people. To man. talk to them. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's good. That's, that's good the game. whole game. That's good game. Man, um, so how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to link up with you? Yeah, so if y'all watching this on YouTube right now, definitely uh, hit my YouTube channel, man. I got a great YouTube channel. We... I think we had almost 150,000 subscribers. I want to keep them uh, running up. You know, I got the YouTube plaque. Uh, I so did too. That, that feels good. Right? Yeah, that feels good. I say when people don't show it, they ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fake. That's fake. So, <laughs> so subscribe to the YouTube page, D1 Music, D E E, the number one music. Uh, my Instagram been jumping. I got about 100,000 new Instagram fans hey. in like the last two months, bro. Like, I got some songs that's been going crazy and some interview clips. Instagram, same thing, D1 Music, D-E-E, -E, the number one music. Same thing for TikTok, same thing for, uh, what, they got threads now? Yeah, yeah, they have threads. threads. Twitter, uh, I'm a D1 Music on everything. And most importantly, y'all, two things. If you want some merch, some Mission Vision merch, yeah, that's my that. clothing like line. That. Yeah, be real, be righteous, be relevant. You want some hoodies, some sweatpants, some t-shirts, some socks, all that, go to missionvisionlifestyle.com. Make sure y'all go get that merch so you could be a walking billboard for this movement, you heard me? And secondly and lastly, um, make sure that you go stream my actual music. Cause it's one thing to hear this and be like, man, that dude real, that dude smart, man. I like what he, man, him and boss talk, they did that. Go listen to the music though, because the music is where you're gonna learn my life story. The music is where you're gonna be like, man, D1 speaking into my heart right now. This song, this album helped me. Man, I got a lot of music out there on all streaming platforms. It's just D1. D E E dash the number one. I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. When I ain't have outside money, I stayed in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.